What up? This is Rama Screen and in the anticipation of The Affair, which will be available on demand or VOD March 5th, I'm here talking with the stars of this new film, Clay Bang and Hannah Alstrom. How are you, Clay and Hannah? Really well. How are you? Good, good, good. Thank you both for taking the time. Uh, let me start by asking you both, um, how familiar were you with the Tugenda Tugenhat Villa <laughs> prior to making this film? Or was that was Tugenhat information was something that you quickly obtain once you've read the script? Yeah, I, I had no knowledge about the house before. Um, but when I started to Google it and, and jump into the history of it, it, it was um, amazing to read all and see the pictures. It's a beautiful house um, ahead of its time, the architecture. And yeah, uh, it was amazing to uh, be able to shoot there. Yeah, well, I was a big fan of this architect before shooting there because I, I, I visited the, um, the Barcelona pavilion that he built in like 1929 a couple of times before. And it's probably one of my favorite pieces of architecture in the world. So when they said to me that we would be shooting in sort of a house version of that pavilion, I was like, yes, I'm on. I'm there. <laughs> How significant or important or how helpful was it for your performance that you guys actually shot uh, this film at the villa itself? Because the production could have easily just built a, a replica set instead, you know? Uh, but you, but but I think it's, it has a tactile, very sort of palpable something to it. When, you, when you're there in the original thing, it's, it's, it's really something else. Um, and, and I think, you know, the, the fact that this house is actually the manifestation of what these two characters have agreed that they dream would be their dream house is really as I mean as an actor you know that we're walking we're walking around in a manifestation of our dreams collectively which does something for you it helps you yeah, well, just uh, knowing that in real life, it was this couple that built this house, um, not, not only Liesl in, and Victor in, in the script, it, it was for real. That mm -hmm. also made it really tense and, and, and exciting. And, and the house had, had its own soul and life uh, in itself. Uh, so it, wasn't something that you needed to add in the script. It just were there. Clays, a uh, big fan of yours on The Square and on Dracula. Thank but, you. But is Victor your most fascinating and most challenging character yet? Because he strikes me as a man with pride and class, but also flawed and turns out very vulnerable. What was your process of capturing the nuances of Victor? Well, I mean, I, I think it's pretty much there in the script. It's in a way just going by the numbers. I know that sounds arrogant, but it's, 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 it's so in the situations that are there. And it's, it's, it, that sort of shapes him. That sort of shapes how we see him. So it was really a question of, of not messing with it and just sort of going with what was written because in that in that way i think it's quite cleverly written i think the perception of the character is very much how we see it from especially from Liesl's point of view um so it was really a question of 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 of, of going by really sticking to what is in the script because in the way in that way i thought the script was quite Sometimes it's, it's really there on the pages written and it's just your job as an actor not to stand in the way of it or try to make more of it or try to do, it's really just trying to get in there and just go with it. And, and so, so the process, I, I actually didn't, I actually, I actually found it quite easy just to put myself in, in the situations that he was in and that sort of shapes the story of it, I think. And Hannah, um, in this film, The Affair, how would you characterize Lucille and Hannah's relationship? And also talk to me about working with uh, Carice in creating your on-screen dynamic. 
Uh, yeah. Well, I, I, for me, it was important uh, before I started to shoot that I um, really had this uh, great, at least professional uh, relationship with the actress that's going to play Hannah. And um, when I met Caris, uh, we instantly, um, I, I, I don't know how to better say it, but we fell in love. Uh, um, I mean, as friends, and we we really liked each other, and we went along with each other, and we built Hannah and Lisa from us. Um, hmm. It wasn't something that we needed to uh, play so much. We just um, relied on each other in 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 this movie. Awesome! Thank you for sharing that. Now, um, the affair will have audiences who've read Simon Marr's book fans of the book and also audiences who probably never read the book but they are fans of period piece films you know fans of films with historical backdrop um in your opinion how extensive do you think director julius and screenwriter andrew have done in catering to both audiences well i i read the book and then i read the script it's it's a little bit different from each other um but i think they both um have this uh, main well they have the house and uh, and the time and everything um so they kept it uh, nicely together um yeah, i don't know what to else to say it's it's a it's a little bit two different stories actually the book and the script mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah well i i thought the same thing uh, as hannah's just saying i uh, um the script is is actually so different from the book that you couldn't i had a feeling you couldn't rely i mean the book is amazing and it's it, but it's 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 um its own thing right and 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 the film is its own story so so therefore i actually felt that i had to just leave the book behind and 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 when you do a movie over a book, you, I think you have to, at one point, say, okay, this is actually going to stray so much from the book that it's its own piece of work. So, mm -hmm. so, yeah, I, I, so that 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 becomes a problem sometimes with with shooting books because are you supposed to just stick by the book or or do you do your own thing? And I think it's actually important to do your own thing because. You can never ever, unless it's a novel of five pages, you can never put all that into a, a movie that is in a book anyway, so. Yeah. Um, and finally, theme-wise, uh, what do you hope people would take away from the themes of the affair? I, I, I hope the audience will, um, will believe in love, uh, mm. that love wins always um whether it's a war or yeah everything L love must always come first and 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 it will win but also uh that oh my god live you, you have to be free and live your life um and fight for it no matter what else the society or other people say I always have a little bit of a, a difficult time answering this question because I think in a way when you've done your part in the movie or you're you're the director or whatever you've had your say so to have to sort of say what people should take from it or what their experience should be I feel that is some I've already done my bit so I'm not the one to decide what people I mean if some people feel inspired by this from that point of view or by that or they like that story or they're really into architecture or they they feel i mean i think people should be allowed to take anything they want from the story i i don't want to moralize in any way so, so i think when you've when you're in a movie I, I have a feeling that when i'm in a movie i've had my say and now is up to the audience to to connect with the story the way they want. And I don't want to sit here and say, experience it in that way or any other. 
Everybody go check out The Affair arriving on demand and VOD March 5. Clays and Hannah, thank you and congratulations. Thank you.